People say that humor has no place in the workplace, but humor, seriously, authors disagree. Suppose you're tired of suffering through awkward conversations and suffering on the job. In that case, you will learn how to inject some fun into your professional life without suffering consequences or looking unprofessional. Being funny at work is all reserved for a listers and celebrities. But the authors of the book dive into how anyone can be more amusing at the office, and in the process, improve their team's morale, lead with confidence, and even advance in their career. Humor is an incredibly effective tool, and its benefits are countless. Laughter is the best medicine. Doctors everywhere know that. They say laughter is the best medicine because it's scientifically proven. When we laugh, our brains release a cocktail of hormones. We get endorphins which give us the euphoric feeling we might have after exercise or sex. Oxytocin amongst other hormones are also released. According to the authors, laughter is like exercising, meditating, and having sex all at once. The benefits are endless. Medical doctors, psychologists, and even HR directors agree that laughter is a potent cure for stress, pain, harmful toxins, fatigue, depression, anger, anxiety. This can help positively in the workplace. Believe it or not, there's a science to being funny. There are four unique types of funny people, stand-ups, magnets, sweethearts, and snipers. Stand-ups are always filled with jokes such as dark ones or roasts. They can be loud and boisterous but usually attract the most attention. Magnets are loud and very funny. They enjoy being the class clowns and smiling. Their humor is full of charisma. The sweethearts, they're not out to hurt anyone's feelings, you know. They are sweet, they are gentle, they are lovely. But if you find yourself analyzing the situation, looking for the well-timed but innocent jab, then count yourself a sweetheart. Lastly, we have the sniper, they are very sarcastic and aggressive. There are three main ways for you to become a funnier person. These are exaggeration, specificity and use of analogies. You can use exaggeration to make things too boring and mundane and make them somehow better. For instance, if someone were going to eat a sandwich, you wouldn't say they would eat a good sandwich. When you try being specific, you relate a lot to the listener and their experiences. This, in turn, makes them find things funnier. Lastly, with analogies, you can show the ridiculousness of something by associating it with something else. You can show the listener the humor in something by citing a relatable example.